Breakfast of Champions, out for a dive. It's a really calm day. I go that direction, about 120 degrees. I've run into Bimini in about an hour and 10 minutes, but today we're not going that far. So we're going out today offshore of Sunia House to the Frost Coral Trees site where they have 10 coral trees out and they're in the midst of getting approval on their permit to outplant acroporids out in the ocean and grow them for restoration efforts up in this side of Dade County to the north end of Dade County. So we're going to go out there. We got Lad today with us and we're going to go out and clean the trees and some on the water and underwater research. Got me a small shirt. Oh, do I need to go up inside? No, it's a large. <laughs> it's good. You know what I found out? The lad actually brought a banana on the boat. That is really against the grain. Let's talk about the nursery first. Get your okay. orientation. So we're about a, close to a mile offshore. Right. And we have 10 trees, seven in a straight line, parallel to shore. And in, in the midway point, we have three that go across. Got it. Three of the trees have arms. Yeah. All the trees are held up by fender buoys. We're gonna wipe the algae off everything from the shackles on the bottom, all the way up the tree, the tree arms, and then the buoys on the top. Yep. And we have these really cool mitts. So this is like a dish SOS pad. Give me yeah. a hand. No, no, no. <laughs> I know what it is. So, so we can wipe with that. We also have these brushes, which are pretty good for getting into some of the nooks and crannies. Right. So you can clip that onto your BC if you want. And then finally, on the tree with the arms, trees with the arms, the arms have little holes where yeah. they hang the corals. Yeah. So these are actually carburetor cleaners. Am I gonna do detail work You're too? But I can't yeah, see unless are. I have my magnifiers <laughs> in my glasses. Just feel for the hole. so much that there's holes in my glove. Wait, there's a lot of algae that was growing on the trees. It's all gone now. We've cleaned it up. It's just another day at the office. I think we're out of fresh water. It actually looks uh, pretty good, better than the last time. Really? Yeah. Maybe all the fresh water? Less, less algae. <laughs> Goobers all over you. That's why it took me a little while on my ascent because I was trying to get the goobers out and six out of my hair. Little things off the trees. Yeah. Get your suit. Huh? Get your suit. That's what it is, right? Yeah. A little shrimp or a couple pods. What are they? Come on. Good work. Yeah, right? Yeah, it was nice. We were able to knock that out so quick. the big coral head. I can dive in this coral head, I don't know, at least 40 years, maybe longer. And it's right there. A couple things I'd like to do. Yeah, measure it. Measure it, yep, let's get like uh, offshore measurement and then longshore measurement and then height. my lobster bag here, but we're not using it for lobster because it's out of season. We're using it for Gorgonians. 
So that claw head was interesting. It was 15 and a half by 15 and a half by seven. Seven tall, right? Yeah. Right, so those are all squared numbers, right? Yeah. So we've been out today and cleaned all the trees there with cross hands. And then got a few Gorgonians, uh, got a little dinner, and went looking over here for the nice staghorn coral. We just got a few spots on those. We marked all those as well and marked other boulder corals. So maybe this year we'll go for the coral spawn in the beginning of August and go out one evening and collect the eggs and the gametes and uh, maybe mix them together and they'll have some babies. We came out this morning. It was flat, oh, glass. We went north of all over and had some great visibility, cleaned the nursery trees, which they needed it. And then uh, we came back a little south to a coral head that we'd seen before. And while we were there, we also found an invasive lionfish, of course. Well, that has collected this big lionfish. Very dangerous, you mean? Just don't let them jump out on your foot because that's going to hurt. Yeah. We'll take them back live and put them in the office. Yeah. And we can put them in one of our Fowler Reef Aquariums. Growing up big. How do you think that coral is? Older than you. 300 years? Well, could be, right? Older than you. Older than me. I think it's three, <laughs> 322 years old. Remember to like, subscribe, and we'll see you underwater next time.